any wishes, Toastmaster Ramita. It was a bright, sunny day. A newly married couple decided to go for play golf. Very close master, dear friends. Although the husband was quite experienced in playing golf, the wife was a newbie. So the husband slowly began to teach the techniques. But before he finishes, the lady got the billy from husband. Oh, I got it. And stop. The shot, the ball flew over the fence. And what they heard was Salva! <laughs> Obviously damaging the neighbor's window. <laughs> now see, now let's go and see what has happened. Let's see how much we have to bear. It was an old mansion. But before they enter, and before they even knock the door, they heard a noise saying, Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Once they entered, they could only see pieces of glass <laughs> shattered all around the house and another antique looking bottle a tiny bottle that stood shattered too Aha! <laughs> then I see it was you who sent that ball huh? <laughs> a rough voice again that same rough voice to see clearly, it was an ugly looking old chubby man, a chubby fellow, a hairy chubby fellow, <laughs> lying on the sofa. Oh, I was very sorry. Uh, it's my fault. I can repay any damage. <laughs> that was the lady. That was the boy. Oh no, my dear lady. Actually, I should thank you. I am the Bahirava. <laughs> I am the Bahirava who was stuck in that little tiny bottle for over centuries and you released me. I have three wishes. I would give one for each of you. And if you don't mind, I would like to keep one for me. For your information, the Bahirava is some sort of a genie who said have extraordinary powers. <coughs> wow, that's amazing! I won't have one billion rupees in 1st of January each year for the rest of my life. That was the husband. <laughs> oh, that's not a big task, man. Consider it's done. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. And I further wish you to live a long life. And now it's your turn, madam. What's your wish? Oh, I want little, not little, a butte, a huge mansions all over the world with a lot of servants, fashionable items, and all the facilities. Aha, uh -huh, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. <laughs> On top of that, I wish you. All those mansions will be protected from thieves and enemies forever. Wow, I can't be even believe this. So, what's your wish? That was the lady. 
Okay, okay, my dear. Now it's my turn. Actually, I was stuck in this teeny, tiny little bottle for over centuries. I have not been with a woman for <laughs> those times. I would like to be with your wife <laughs> if you don't mind. Oh, uh, oh, darling. Actually, oh, both of us are now being so rich with billions of rupees and mansions all over the world. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my darling. Actually, I think this, uh, we can't deny this proposal <laughs> at this time. What do you say? My dear, you know how much I love you, but I think we should face this. And then, the Bahirava and that lady both went upstairs. <laughs> Why not be fast? Two hours passed. Three hours. Bhairava is not yet satisfied. After that long time, the Bhairava asked the lady, Actually, how old are you? We <laughs> hey, both are so dead, dear soul. That was the lady. Oh my God, 30 years old? Do you still believe in these Bhairavya stories, huh? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is <laughs> My dear friends, <laughs> if we consider what the political context in Sri Lanka after being so called freedom, the political Bhairavyas are screwing up the entire community giving them the wishes, so-called fake promises, time to time. The tragedy is our people are ready to believe whatever rubbish they say without questioning them, without analyzing them, and getting screwed up by them. And even after they realize that what has happened, what they do is searching for another set of wishes from another Bahiravya and let that Bahiravya to screw them up again. So my dear friends, it's high time to rethink. It's been 70 years not 30 years, right? <laughs> After the freedom, do we still believe in these Bhairavas? <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> uh, what can I say? There is so many good things about that. It would take me 10 minutes to cover them. Uh, in the evaluation, there is a series of uh, qualities that I need to tick off and uh, in the first 45 seconds I had ticked them all off. <laughs> I was just waiting for him to make a bad mistake and then I would cross them out. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to, uh, was thinking about doing it. Everything was perfect. I love uh, the way that you projected your voice, the tone, the volume, the speed, uh, the way you spoke, the voices, the sounds, the way you move your body, uh, uh, everything, the gestures, and I felt as if I was really there. What a, what a wonderful topic, a free license in, in the CC6 to choose any topic you want to give us vocal variety. And I think you hit the nail bang on the head. You were so comfortable with this. But the most beautiful thing I like about it is the very serious message that came right towards the end, how we twisted it all to put it that way. 
everything, Radhika. I think you have come in uh, beyond my recognition. I, I, I was so impressed to hear that. Maybe I'm going to use one of your, two of your tricks and try to remember what you did for my humorous speeches, yes. because that certainly works for you. How can I help you? Um, I think that uh, um, uh, towards the ending, it could have been a little bit shorter. Uh, there was too much explanation of the idea, the politicians or the people, and then you explained it once or twice. And maybe that's why you went a little bit over your time in 8.37. Uh, how else can I help you? I would not choose to use the word screwing up. I, I, I'm just not happy with them. I just feel uncomfortable. Uh, so it tends to slang. But everything else, fantastic. You've done the job. I'm looking forward to this number seven, research the topic. Well done, well done. Thank you.